Next, you should become familiar with adding a new Material database. Switch to the Material DB tab. Again, the buttons at the bottom left enable you to manage material definitions in the list. Click the New button to add a new Material database. The new iMachining DB file dialog box is displayed. Enter a name for the new material file. The name only serves to help you visually identify the specific material in the list. It must be unique, but does not need to be identical to the material standard name. For the purpose of this exercise, let's add titanium to the list. Call it titanium underscore TI. Then, click Save to confirm the creation of the database and add the new material file to the list. In the Material Properties area, there is one required value needed for the material database when adding a new material file. It is re represented here by the yellow field. Since different materials require different amounts of force to cut them, iMachining uses the Ultimate Tensile Strength, or UTS, as the physical property that determines the force required for a particular cut. The iMachining Technology Wizard is dependent upon the correct UTS value to produce good cutting conditions. The best way to find the correct UTS value of a specific material is by using www.matweb.com, an online resource for acquiring material property data. Go to your internet browser and search www.matweb.com. Click the Searchable Database of Material Properties link. Enter Titanium in the search field and then click Search. Go ahead and select the first entry in the list, Titanium TI. In the Mechanical Properties area, you will find the UTS is 220 megapascal. It is important to know the exact specification of your stock material so that you may find the correct UTS value. If there are many entries to choose from, always start with the highest UTS value. This is absolutely safe. Now navigate back to SOLIDWORKS and the iDatabase dialog box in SOLIDCAM. Enter 220 megapascal in the input field text box for ultimate tensile strength. Now, it is very common that the same materials are often made by many different manufacturers. So you may also get the same materials, even with the same specifications, from different suppliers. Now you may discover that those same materials can be cut faster than what the technology wizard is outputting. In most cases, this means that the material is less hard than indicated by its given UTS value. This is because tolerances can exist between the same materials provided by the different manufacturers. Those tolerances make the material more or less machinable based on the differences in its physical properties, even if those differences are small. The slider for machinability factor enables you to alter the hardness of a material without changing its given UTS value. Moving the slider in the positive direction informs iMachining that your material is less hard than indicated by its UTS value and is more machinable by the specified percentage. The technology wizard will then output more aggressive cutting conditions by default. Now you can click Save and Exit to add the new machine and material database definitions to the iMachining database. Outside of creating a new CAM part, you can add and or edit machine and material database definitions by clicking the solid CAM field in the SOLIDWORKS main menu and choosing iMachining Database. The iDatabase dialog box is then displayed and enables you to control machine and material database definitions. Now that a new machine and material database have been defined, make the selections in the iMachining data area. Click the arrow under Machine Database and choose Haas SS New from the list. You'll notice that the machine default level of 6 is automatically selected for the machining level. Now it is possible to choose a different default machining level for the CAM project using the drop-down under Machining Level. 
And keep in mind that you can also change this level per operation using the machining level slider on the technology wizard page of the iMachining Operation dialog box. Next, go ahead and click the arrow under Material Database and choose Titanium TI from the list. Now, if you do not make these selections now, SolidCam will prompt you to define the machine and material databases when the first iMachining operation is added to your CAM part. The CAM part definition process is now complete. To save the CAM part data and close the milling part data dialog box, go ahead and click OK. The Solid Cam Manager is displayed, and iMachining can now be used to define how you want to machine. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedures that were shown in this video to complete the second stage of defining the CAM part for iMachining. Remember, the procedures for completing this step include defining the machine and work material parameters for the iMachining database.